Birds watched the silence grew. Was she through? Who knew? The Wild Party was written by Joseph Moncu's March. It's a poem about vaudeville performers trying to be more than they are socially and yet trapped by who they are. So it's a real reaction against the straight-laced society that went into World War I, sort of in the flapper era. It's a cautionary tale of a certain sort. The appeal is not the characters, and it's not the arc that they go through. The appeal is the way they're described, or the way they're portrayed. Gray eyes, lips like coals of glove. Her face was a tinted mask of snow. They're set into action, and the actions clash with each other, and that's where the tension in the story comes from. The shadow world is a world about fantasy more than about realism, and that there has to be some element of, of um, non-reality to make a shadow play real. I was thinking of doing film noir. So I looked at 30 movies or more and realized that even though I remember shadows in all of them, they're not really there. It's not that big a part of it. And what is a big part of it is a kind of gritty realism that is actually very hard for me to do in shadows. A man to be the Wild Party was wild. what I ended up with. What's difficult about it from a theatrical point of view is that it's so confined. It takes place in one apartment, in one evening, in one party. The gang was there when midnight came. <laughs> When I first saw Larry's work with The Tempest, that the scrim was going to go up and I was going to see incredible equipment backstage, lasers and computers and yeah, all kinds of, you know, huge elaborate sets. And instead, it's these little people holding cut out pieces of cardboard and <laughs> flashlights. It is so homemade. Queenie, for instance, is wearing this negligee and some old hip band I bought, you know, a long time ago and some $5 shoes from Payless. And she, you know, looking fairly demented, you know, in this mask. And uh, the fact that on, in shadow, she manages to come off as this very elegant figure. I, I love that, that difference. <laughs> somebody who's just over the hill and doesn't quite know it yet. And that's an interesting part of anybody's life, really. She lay stretched out on a crumpled bed, naked, slim arms above her head. Queenie is kind of a quintessential slut, but the way that you need to play Queenie is, is you know, a queen. Queenie, he seized her arm, shook it. She may have been pleased, but she didn't look it. Queenie's definitely a sexual manipulator and is out to kind of use all of her power to kind of get what she oh, wants. She was cold as ice all through it. She had him now, and she knew it. It's a whole new art form. New to use bodies in shadow. Ancient, in that the Balinese and the Indonesians have been doing it forever. It's also such a freedom because we'll say, uh, we, need a, we need a gun, you know, and it's like, <laughs> walk over and cut out a gun, you know, <laughs> it works. <laughs> <laughs>